Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in this video, I just want to do a nice, simple makeup, no makeup look, like a legit makeup, no makeup look. So that is what we're going to be doing today. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love if you subscribe to my channel. You can ring the bell. It will give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday. So yep, like, make comments, tell your friends, subscribe, help a newbie out. I would also appreciate your support. And thank you so, so much for helping me grow this channel. And now without further ado, let's get started. Okie dokies. So I have nothing on my face. Now, the premise of this video is that lately, like these past couple of months, I have been just spot concealing. Where is my, um, where is my concealer? I have the Natasha, um, High Glam concealer and I have this one in N3 that I have been spot concealing and then just putting the slightest, I'm talking the slightest foundation. I'm like, this is this is great. This would be so great for the summer. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I have like a little frog in my throat. But then I did a video on these um, bronzing drops. I have the the Elf, and I also have the Physicians Formula, which are great, by the way. They're both great. And I also had the Drunk Elf, and I kept on saying Drunken Elephant in my video. That was so freaking funny. But I, while I was editing it, but too bad it's too late. I only said it about fifty million times. But anyway, these are so so good. I mixed them with i have my face moisturizer on i mix these together girl it is beautiful it is the perfect perfect combination in my opinion of a makeup no makeup look so that is so great so that's what we're going to be doing let me roll up my sleeves i'm going to just drench my face you know how much i love this this is the pixie hydrating milky mist only have five thousand of these i have this on um auto delivery from pixie it's so good it's so so good Mm, thank you, Jesus. That is so, so nice. While that dries down a little bit, you and I could chit chat. I love this. You know how much I love this. This is the e.l.f. Um, Holy Hydration Face Cream. This is with hyaluronic acid and peptides. So good. This one is the fragrance. Go figure. Because you know I don't like fragrance, girl. So, so good. But I will tell you, I can never find the fragrance one in stores. I always have to order it online. They have the fragrance free. They also have. Um, the SPF in it, which I don't like SPF in like my, um, um, in my products. I'm going to just use an SPF. I don't like it in there, but I have to order these on their website, but it's okay. I don't mind. So I'm going to take that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. My hands are so friggin' dry. It's the season. Woo. So I am going to put in the elf bronzing drops and this one I have in rose gold. So I'm going to shake this little lover up just like it says, and I'm going to just do a squirty squirt squirt. I don't know how like people that I've seen, I'm going to just put it in my hand. Mm, that was just like maybe two. Maybe I just go one more. All right, so about that much. And I'm going to just rub. I don't know how like when they first came out, look at that already. When they first came out, I guess that the drunk elephant was the first one to come out that they just put it on their face and then they actually put it on if I'm not mistaken, I saw most people putting it on with a brush. It looks so patchy. And I'm like, wait a minute. Do they think that looks good? But this, look how beautiful. In my opinion, although it does have it in their directions, you have to put it with something. A moisturizer, a foundation, your SPF. It's got to have some kind of something to attach it to. Look how pretty. Isn't that so, so nice? Look at that. It's so glowy. Ooh, it's so pretty. It is so, so pretty. Now, I will tell you, um, this would be great for summertime, but it's so, it, first of all, it's nighttime. I'm doing this at night because I've been so, so busy. This is Mother's Day weekend as I'm filming this, but um, um, it's so freaking cold. Come on, Mother Nature. What are you toying with my emotions? It is so stinking cold out. I live on the East Coast, and um, but this would be so, so great for like a beautiful summer no makeup, makeup look. So, so nice. Spring, summer. It doesn't matter. Even in the fall. Who cares? But anyway, look how beautiful. Let me come close. Look how gorge and glowy. That, uh oh, someone's crying. Wants to come in. Look how beautiful and glowy that looks. Now, here's what I've been doing. I'm going to just go right at it. I had, like I said, I've been using the Natasha Denona and then spot concealing like where I feel is a little bothersome, like this friggin' sunspot right there. Listen. I'm a 70s girl. There wasn't a lot of like um, sun protection back in the day. 
before. We never used it. Oh my God. We would put like the typical, like the baby oil, that like, that like aluminum thing there. Oh Lord. But anywho, I digress. We're not going backwards. We're going forwards. So I just like to spot conceal just little places. And I noticed Damn, girl, if it wasn't for that, these little spotty, these spot spots, if you will, your face would be so, I don't want to say perfect, because we're not, none of us are perfect, but your face, whatever bothered you, would be perfect. See, so that's about it. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm, I'm going to let that sit for a second. And while that sits, I go in with my concealer and a little bit, because if we're doing a no makeup makeup look, you can't have like a full ass, like full coverage. Um, under our concealer and like a little bit of like no make that just it just I don't think it would look good so I'm going to take like the slightest bit just so we have all like a nice cohesive look and like vice versa I don't think it would look right if you just did like a little bit of no makeup makeup look with no concealer you know what I mean like they work in combination so a tiny bit so that's about it right there right We'll see if we need more, we could always add, but you know, I am 56 years old, girl. Less is more, less is more. I'm gonna just tapity tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap. And then I'm gonna go in, I have um, one of my rare, the, one of the rare beauty brushes. This is the concealer brush. And I like to just pat whatever, extra I have okay and then I'm going to just thin this out because I will tell you if you thin it out and you spread it like let's just say like this little blemish right here we're going to just whatever's on the tool it'll cover it up how was everybody's mother's day I will tell you um, I even left a post. Oof. Today was a struggle. I I, I want to say, like, I'm surprised that it came out of nowhere. But, and I know that sounds odd. Like, my mom passed away, like, maybe eight months ago, nine months ago. So, duh. Of course, this is, like, our first Mother's Day without her. But I say that I was surprised because Thanksgiving came and went. Um, Christmas came and went. My birthday came and went. We went to go see like her family um, in Italy. Everybody was fine. Like nobody like, you know, we didn't even cry. We just talked about it. We were so like grateful to be together. And then boom, I had been bawling. My, maybe that's why my throat's all jizzed up. I had been bawling my friggin' eyes out all stinking day. But anyway, so this is it. So I just spot concealed. Look how freaking nice that looks. I could even go like this. The tiniest bit. If you want, you could go like this because look at that beautiful glow from the bronzing drops. So, so pretty. You could even go darker if you want, but I think this is like so perfect. My favorite. My favorite. You guys know that. This is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I have mine in two, three. I'm going to show you. And even that's going to be too much. You see that? It may be too much. I'm going to just tap where I think I want a little bit of extra coverage let's see i know i brought you i know i brought you where the heck did you go why did it fall where the heck did i do with it okay oops, i found you i like to when i do a lighter hand on my face i like to go in with like a dampened sponge for me personally it just blends out more evenly and it thins out a product if you put too much on. So since we're doing like a no makeup makeup look, this tool is perfect. So just in case you feel like you, um, and I'm going to just grab a little bit off of the back of my hand just to go down my neck. So just in case like you feel like you grab too much, this will definitely shear it out. Okay, so I'm going to just go around my eyes. And again, same thing if your concealer is too light which I have a habit of doing that. Just take whatever tool that you have that you used your bronzer with or your foundation and just go over it. 
Look how nice that plaid. Ooh, that's so damn pretty. Mm-hmm. So, so nice. Okay, so we're going to leave it at that. And again, even when I do like a no makeup, I like to use creams because I think that they blend in and they melt into the skin so seamlessly. It almost looks like you don't have like any makeup on, hence that's the whole point, like a makeup, like a no makeup makeup look. So I grabbed the She Glam. This is the She Glam um, Bronzer in Tawny Amber. I love this. I did not want to love you, but I think it's so great. I love the sponge. It's such an innovative product, right? I'm going to take the sponge and I'm going to just tapity tap tap. But look at that. It blends in so beautifully. Like it doesn't even look like I have bronzer on slash. It just looks like part of my skin. You know what I mean? It's so nice. I love that. I think my daughter has like a different color. I may have to swipe it. Look how pretty that looks. Oof, that's so nice. Um, God bless you, whoever just sneezed. Um, yeah, I have to swipe it from her because I mean, I don't want to have to put in an order if she glam for like one or two little things, you know? When you're blending in your bronzer, Make sure you go in your hairline. Especially like if you wear your hair back. Like most of the time, especially in the summertime, my hair is always up. It's out of my face. Look how freaking pretty. Doesn't even look like I have anything on. No, it just looks like I have like a nice glowy tan going on, right? That is nice. Woo! Love that. Love, love, love. I like to like when I do like a no makeup look and if we're doing something like this and it's hot out. I like to do a little pop of blush. You know how I feel about my blushes. So, so nice. I have some nerve. If you guys have never tried the Juvia's Place blushes, I think personally they are way, way, way more pigmented than even the Rare Beauty. I have mine in Soft Tulip. Yeah, right. Don't let the name fool ya. A dot. A dotity dot dot. Let's see. I'm going to just... A dotity dot. Let's... Can we do two? Is that all right? Let's try two. Because I like to bring my blush on the apples of my cheek, but I'll let you know like how I'll let you know how. Look at that, how freaking pretty that is. I can't, I just can't with you. That is so beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, that's exactly what I want. And then, like, was like what I was gonna say is like I always go on the apples of my cheek when I go to assess when I'm done. And I never smile because if we're it's our, at our age, guys, and you smile and you put your stuff on your dog on apples and then you don't smile, the apples are down further. So I don't, I do that at the end. So let me just do the same thing on this side. This is a, look how beautiful that color is, right? It's so pretty. Now look what I said. Mm -hmm. These are so pigmented. I'll go back here. I'm gonna go in a little bit on my nose. That is so pretty. Just go around the other side. Go around the other side where there's no product and then just go around the perimeter to pick up any extra blush. That is so, yeah. so, so pretty. So, so pretty. Uh, let's see. So that's that for now. Let's do the eyes. Listen, it's a no makeup makeup. These little Merit Beauties are perfect for a no makeup makeup look. These are the um, they're solo shadows. I have this one in studio. So, so nice. I think I'm going to take a brush. Can I take a brush? Let's do the finger first. Let's do the finger. So, so creamy. Look at that. That is perfect. Perfect. I'm going to just, oh my goodness, that is so friggin' pretty. And here's the thing. You can hardly see it. And that's the whole point. What I'm going to do is pack it on my moving lid and then whatever I have left over, I'm going to shear it up to my brow. I have hooded eyes. I just did a video on hooded eye application. I will leave that link below. So in it, there's a lot of great tips for hooded eyes, but that's what I do. I put the most of it on the, on the moving lid and then whatever I have left over, I go all the way up to the brow. 
you have to move fast with these because they do dry down. But look how pretty. I can't. I just can't. Is so pretty now I do I if you want a little shimmer this is a no makeup makeup look but if by chance you want a little zhuzh right just a little bit I love these little Moira um, shadows these are the Moira who the hell star show shadow pots and I have this one in checkmate you don't have to you don't have to but you know I do like a little shimmer even on a no makeup makeup something a little something something a tiny bit I'm gonna just take this is what it looks like it's so pretty look at that so pretty tiny bit look at that look at that so so pretty i'm gonna just tap just on my so pretty just on my moving lid but it's so pretty and delicate look it's still no makeup makeup sure is sure is and if you don't want any shimmer then just don't do it oh my god just don't do it reminds me of my daughter when she was a little girl she would say sorry all the time. Oh, sorry, sorry. I think she was like, I don't know, two. And I would say, Lauren, you don't have to say you're sorry. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. And then like the next time she would do it, she would be like, sorry, just don't do it. No, honey, that's not what I meant. That was the funniest thing. So just don't do it. Sorry, just don't do it. My God, we crack up about that all the time. Let's see here. Yeah, it's so pretty. It is so, so pretty. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Now, the next one is if you want to. If you want to. I got my Essence Stay and Play. I love this liner. This is the Stay and Play, but uh, and it's called But First Espresso. I rarely, rarely um, use any kind of black eyeliner. I haven't in a while. Maybe like if we go out to a wedding or something like that, I'll wear it. But the browns are so beautiful. They're rich enough, but not as like stark as a black. And if you guys wear black, do it. Do whatever the hell you want. Whatever makes you happy, do it. I love this one because I could go like this. We'll just throw in some mascara, lip smacking, and call it a day. But when even when I'm wearing a no makeup makeup look, I just want my eyes to pop just a little bit. You know what I mean? Let me just show you. I'm just tight lining. Okay, so a tiny bit. Look at the difference. Tiny bit. That's it. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. How freaking pretty. How stinking pretty. Now, let me just go in. Before we move on, I just want to check my under. Yeah, see, I was going to say that we could um, set, but you don't need to set the Natasha Denona. You really don't. That is so pretty. And I really like this glow. God, that is so pretty. But what I want to do, did I blend this in enough? But what I want to do, because, you know, girl, I'm going to go back and edit. And I'm like, girl, but didn't you see, like, didn't you, like, did you see the spinach? No, you didn't see that? No. So you guys got to tell me. You have to tell me. So that's good. Um, what I wanted to do is I'm just going to go underneath my eye with one of the B, one of the BK Beauty smaller brushes. This is the 204. And I think I'm going to just take the merit just to smoke out a little bit under the eye. And listen. Any kind of color, any kind of no makeup makeup that you like, these just happen to be like neutrals. But girl, like if you want to do purple no makeup makeup or blue no makeup makeup, whatever you like. So look how tiny that is. Tiny, tiny bit. I just want to show you what a subtle difference that makes under the eye. You see that? Nice. That's really pretty. Pretty, right? I love that. That is so great. What I want to do is that I bring a brush. I don't know if I did, but I have the Rare Beauty um, powder. This is in light. I just want to set like right in the T zone. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to just take my, ooh, I think I'm going to just take my dampened sponge only because I don't want to get up. 
because your girl's lazy. So I'm going to just take a tiny bit and I'm going to just pat it on here on my hand so, so it distributes evenly. And I'm going to just pat like right here because every place else I really, really love that glow. Oh, that is so pretty. Right? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, hmm, did I bring, I did not bring my eyelash curler. Do we really need one? I think so. I'll be right back. Give me a second. Listen, if I'm not unprepared in every video, would it really be one of my videos? I don't think so. Halt. Okie dokes. Here we go. I'm going to just curl my lashes. And, you know, you can do your eyebrows, you know, if you want. I'll fill mine in just a tiny bit, but I think they're okay. I think they're full enough. Oh, P.S. You got some nerve, girl. This is the um, Essence Lash Princess Mascara in brown. In brown. It is so nice. This just came out recently, a couple months ago. I love it. I love, love, love it. And I think somebody just came out with different color mascaras. Could it be Essence? I'm not really sure, but I'm remembering, I think Kelly Strack, and she does a lot of drugstore. And it looks so pretty. It was like a maroon color. It was so pretty. Alrighty. I mean, come on. If you want to leave it like this, great. Go right ahead without putting like a mascara underneath. Let's just try, let's just try one with and one without out of curiosity. Whatever you like. Okay, so super cute. So this is um, with the mascara underneath and this is without. Both very no makeup ish right? Let me just do the same on this side. You know what I'm thinking now that I'm looking at this? Now that I made a mess. If you want, you could also put like um, that like peach colored like eyeliner in your waterline to make it like a little bit zhuzhuzhi. Like sometimes if you want that no makeup makeup look, like I said before, but you want like your eyes to pop a little bit, that would be nice. Should we try that? No. Should we? Let's try it. Let's just try it. Look who came in. Look who came in. Anyway, I'm, I'm talking about like an eye pencil like this. This is the um, the Pixie. This is their Endless Silk Eye Pen. And this is in, God, who the hell could see? Matte Nude which is really, really pretty. Normally, I put this on before mascara. I just want to show you. I mean, damn, look how pretty that is, right? That is such a pretty, pretty look. You're still like a no makeup makeup look, but it's making the eyes like pop, right? And stand out. That is so freaking pretty. I love that. That is so nice. Okay, now for the lip -baroonies. Where oh you know what let me just do my eyebrows real quick so this is the um the benefit precisely my brow this is in five and like I said I don't think my brows are that bad so I just fill in where I feel they're a little oh what happened here the mascara and I really am loving these merit solo shadows really pretty i have three of them i have that one one of them is like a terracotta and another one is like that really nice like forest green so so pretty um so that is that mm, that is so freaking pretty okay and then for the lip you, you know you know i've been i what this has got a chokehold on me. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Endless Cacao. I mean, you have me. Hook, line, and sinker. It is so damn good. It is, first of all, legit a pencil. It's, it smells like a number two pencil. It is so beautiful. It's like that really nice, but y'all love you. This really nice, like cool, cool, um, neutral brown. So pretty. I got nothing. Girl, you need to shave your mustache. I'm just saying. Tell the people the truth. You need to shave your mustache.
this is so freaking pretty. I'm going to just fill in a little bit. I like to use my finger to just smooth out the edges. I don't want any harshness. P.S. You could also use these pencils as an eyebrow pencil and also as an eyeliner. It is, so, you know what? We're gonna do, we're gonna do the eyeliner just to darken it up a little bit, right? Let's just do it. We're just trying. We're just fooling around here. Again, I would do this obviously before mascara. But look how pretty that looks, right? Ooh, it makes that. A waterline liner pop even more, right? That is so freaking pretty. And then, last but not least, um, I have the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. They are so damn good. And I say they, I only have one. But every time, like, I'm thinking, oh, girl, you gotta go back and you gotta have to get one. These are delicious. I have mine in, I never, uh, beige beige vanilla i'm like i'm always like looking all over the place for the color i'm gonna just put some on my hand these are so good and that's not enough girl and so buttery like something about these they're special i have like you know five thousand lip products over there but this for some reason it's so give me a minute I just don't like the smell because, you know, I don't like, girl, I don't want to smell cake batter or vanilla or any of that stuff. I don't want to, I just don't like that. I don't, I don't like those scents. Blech. But it's so, I know it's a balm, but it's cross between everything. A balm, a gloss, an oil. They are so damn good. Again, I'm going to tell you, are you all right, son? Um, I'm going to go back and get another one. Mm, look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. Let me see if I can come closer. Can I have like brighter lights? No? But look how pretty that is, right? Let me just go a little bit more just to blend this in. Girl, that is it. We just did a no makeup makeup look with just a handful of products. That is so, so nice. Out of curiosity, you guys, do you do full face on a daily or do you do like a no makeup makeup look or do you do like a mixture of both? Do you do none? I'm so curious what you guys wear. I got to tell you the truth. Now that it's getting warmer out, I hope, I pray, I hope because it's 50 degrees out and I'm freezing. Um, this is what I would do. This is what I would do like on a daily. Let's see. Yeah, Th that's it. Probably even like the lip liner. I think would be too much. I would just throw on one of these glosses and call it a day. But isn't that so beautiful? This is like legit, almost a no makeup makeup look. We only use a handful of products. And even now that I'm looking at it, you could, even, you could even dwindle it down more if you wanted to. You could actually probably use like this um, bronzer as a shadow. You didn't have to use the Merit. You, you don't have to use a powder if you like that glow. And I will tell you with the Natasha Denona, concealers you don't need it you really just don't need it it's so so good i i, I that's the only concealer that i own that i don't have to set and uh, let's see what else even the bra well i don't know i don't know you guys what your brows are you don't like your brows you like the brows whatever but yeah this is it this is the final look of my no makeup makeup look what do you guys think leave me some comments below what do you guys do now that it's getting warmer out are you full glam or like a no makeup makeup look leave it down below I love to chit chat with you guys. Thank you so, so much for sharing your time with me, you guys. And as always, be good to each other, love each other, and have a great, great day. Bye.